Mama Dipper wants to come in. Yes. There's mold right above me. Hella mold. Okay, I can't live. That. Fucking disgusting. And how do they get that out of me? It fucking hurts. They were saying that's not an alien. Daddy's not a lion. Like that's not an Arabian. And that is not trying. I'm a Mediterranean. They're on extra large lies. Why they put 911 on the Ukraine? And tell your brother come here in front of Zion. Konnichiwa, Semoyeka. It's 7.30 on February 1st. And I just got a statement, uh, a notification on my chart. And it said that you have a new statement. And I went to my, to my grandma's thing. It's hers, not mine. So I'm pretty sure that she just died. And I just tried to call her her yesterday and invite her um recruit her as one of my scientists and she blocked me remember i told you guys she blocked me and it looked like she just died so it just said like when papa died it said you have a new statement and it was this patient is deceased yes it said new statement should i call my dad no i can't get into it because i don't have her password i'm gonna call my dad really fast that's what I would think, but I don't know. I, they surprised me. My dad said that he thinks that she's fine. He just saw her, she was fine. But I don't know what that means. I'm not kissing. My period's super duper heavy, so I'm eating coconut flakes in date. I'm super mad because like I'm messaging all of these people to recruit them as scientists, and no one's answering me. And I go on Instagram, and Kim can post, you know, this grabbing her head, and then it's like this is. Kim saying good morning with her clean shower and everything. And then Kylie Jenner replying cutie and posting all of this stuff about her daughter Stormy's birthday. I really wish that the people involved with setting me up wouldn't have set me up so my kid could be here. Because I should, because where's my kids? I should have a few of them. I'm 21 years old and began trying to get pregnant. I began preparing at 14 and began actually wanting to, to start losing my virginity um, at 16. Where is my kid? I, I don't even say anything about it. The lack of equality, you know? Um, yeah, I just said, you know, Kim, Kylie, hey, can y'all check your DMs? I'm recruiting y'all and your children to be scientists. You know, they need to start getting the cat. Those, that's a porn star. That's a girl who has sex out of marriage. These, what? And they don't, okay, I recruited Glorilla, Chris Jenner. It's Black History Month, I got the alert. Um, yeah, no more factory farms. I really want to go to this march about it's a chalk for animals in San Francisco on Sunday at 6 30, which is very cold, very windy. For another fun night of chalkings for the beings who have no rights to life. And I would love Hi vlogsters, I'm going with my mom again because I'm on my period so the only thing I can really do is sit in my bed because I have a headache and stuff. So I'm just gonna go with her so I can breathe because if I can breathe it's gonna hurt my head more and I also cannot risk getting toxic black mold in my lungs that stuff literally causes cancer so yeah i'm gonna just go with her and hey i don't have to go back home tonight but i'll probably be like every single other day but i'm gonna be right back in this bitch sleeping with toxic black mold and it's hurting me so badly yesterday is, is this bone it's supposed it's up here on this side and it's all the way down here on this side i have to match it and then you see my windows peak and then everything's okay but it's really hard to i don't get it at all and it's hurting my head anyways i straightened my hair with a blow dryer in. i just moved it out i don't know my hair is not curly but it's too like texture or whatever to be holding dryer heat so and i forgot about that so it curled in the most worst ways it possibly could so now i put it into a scrunchie but i have it just done twice and i don't think i like that i need to redo it a third time there's a fire look my mixtape dropped and now look at it look at what's happening the state of the world look at this shit it's a fire, fire. A bush fire, bitch. What a guy. I was just saying, God. I just asked God something. I was like, God, you better tell me. Next to a bird, you better fight. Like a bush on fire. Tell me. I don't remember what it was, though. God, everybody telling me that I'm going to make it rain. Like, okay, God, I'll give you rain. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me.
Josie come out. I'm gonna get any orders. We were chilling but I didn't want to show you guys because I only have 45 minutes left. Camera footage left for the whole entire day, so it's gonna be kind of rough. Anyway, this is the chair that I used to go to when I lived at Elsa Brandy with my Tito and the Wicked Witch. We've been friendly on the gram. I just love this so much. I just walked past this. I'm walking past everything. I'm not even thinking about how much I like that stuff. Look, like, carrot juice. Do you want any other juice? Yeah, yeah. These were my freaking obsession before I got strongoloids. I was in El Segundo before I had strongoloids and I just okay. had a, a bloody brain. The blueberries and cream and vanilla and cream yogurt was my shiz. My mom just got watermelon Drea pizza even though he won't stop smoking in front of the house which I find so weird. Like the only other thing, so she would only give feed me that and then I'd only eat that and then this quiche. That's the only things that she really feed it. Feed me. She would she wouldn't feed me. She'd only give take me the Trader Joe's and that was the only stuff. But then she'd make crispy adobo for every morning out of cauliflower rice. It was weird. That's how I learned how to make Brussels sprouts, carrots, and mushrooms. Look, I could make cauliflower rice out of bell peppers, jalapenos, and tomatoes and make Mexican cauliflower rice. I did not know that. They have quinoa stuffed domas. Okay, I can't. It has palm oil. That was going. I'm getting my favorite onion. They have this pizza seasoning and it has tomato powder, garlic, got, paprika, oh. sea salt, but then it has rice concentrate, coriander, black pepper, parsley, basil, oregano. I want to make this with you guys. They have this red pepper pesto sauce, which reminded me that I can make sauces out of red peppers. So let me get some. We're just going straight to the line. We're leaving here to get out of here as fast as possible. I almost got cantaloupe strips. They weren't organic. That's not a bad thing, I don't think. But I don't know that it gave you frozen fruit, no, dried fruit is bad for you. It takes up all your water. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Guys, that's my favorite bag. You guys should get them. I can't stand that my mom doesn't let me get these 99 cent bags because they're only 99 cents. Look, this one looks like a paper bag, but it's not a paper bag. What the heck? You guys, my mom is finally letting me get this bag that I wanted. Look at the back of it. It has a horse on me. Thank you. Look, I have pink coconut water. It's like harmless harvest. I forgot what it is that makes it pink. It's something about it not being, um, like it being raw. I don't know, it's so good. It has that, that Captain Crunch vibe to it, but it's not exactly as Captain Crunchy as Harmless Harvest. Hi, and you just sent me the cutest picture of my cousins and they're wearing matching sweaters and I just love it so fucking much, you guys. Oh my god, please like my video and subscribe! So to overview, I got this from Maine. This, I have a cover spinner and I'm ready to use it. Those two mango sticks, avocado, these strawberries, so zucchini, blueberries, ginger, frozen cauliflower. My mom got oat milk, which is terrible for her. This thing, one celery juice. I don't know what the rest of my character juice. A frozen garlic, a frozen, two frozen ginger. I got cauliflower, frozen mixed berries, frozen strawberries. Guys, should I move to Fresno? Because I miss my dad. And... I can't, oh, this, y'all just see how much my mom is in my bed. I can't go to sleep with that and the cigarettes, but then he's a cigarette smoker. And he'll smoke while I'm in the car with him. And they don't really care if they inflame, inflame my brain at all. They don't care. <laughs> What's best for me? Help me adult, to call adult with me. I'm such a bitch. My Tito just said, why are you mad at me? I recruited him after he said he's not talking to me again. He's like, why are you mad at me? Why would you stop talking to me? And I was like, because if you love me more than money. Oh, since 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 we didn't work smart, that was the punishment since we didn't work smart. And if you love me more than money, that should have demonstrated the lesson. And then I did the eye with a tongue. <laughs> So that hotel was $500 a night and it was three nights. I'm such a bitch. I'm making some super, super, super quick zoodles. So super, super quick zoodles out of these two zucchinis, have an avocado, this garlic, this basil, a little bit of liquid, some seeds. I thought I was good. I went to go change my pad because it was so heavy of blood. And then I went inside and I did that and I was able to start making my zoodles and then watermelon Jaya's bum ass came back home. Now he's finna start smoking so I can't even sit down. But I couldn't breathe anywhere in any of the rooms anyways. 
So it's good that I'm back, but he just irritated me. I don't know. It's stressful because I wanted to get a little bit more food together. I wanted to make a smoothie, whatever. But this is my zoodles. I made zoodles. I put nutritional yeast on top because I made it too spicy. But hopefully I could eat it. Now I can't adjust the seasonings and I added too much milk because I had to rush. And I got too inflamed and fucked up. After 30 minutes, I'll drink this celery juice with that I just got from Trader Joe's with this straw. And I'm watching my fan. Dude, I was just fucking exposed. I just breathed cigarette smoke in all day and all night for how many years at, with worms in my, this type of brain damage. I don't want to think about it. I don't fucking want to think about it. And you want to know what else I don't want to think about? I don't want to think about how I have to give birth as a virgin to save a bitch that just let me, that just did all that shit, right? And I actually would. I, I actually do want to do that. This bitch won't stop throwing blims. This bitch is fucking in my room sniffing her fucking hands. In my room sniffing her fucking hands. What the fuck was they doing fucking witchcraft? Because the motherfuckers was getting neglected and abused. Nah, you want to fuck yourself up? Nah, and that's the thing. Like, now it's like, do I half-ass shit or do I finish it up? Because I really did some fucked up shit. Mm -hmm. And do I give a fuck about that right now? Does I have anything? Is there, is there a decision that I would make by myself? Do I have a husband somewhere that's gonna help me make that fucking decision? So why the fuck is that what I'm fucking thinking about? I'm over it. Damn, I just had to rush so fast trying to protect myself from cancer that didn't even do any type of protecting. Not like I wasn't fully fucking exposed for my whole life. Um. That I didn't get to add my pumpkin seeds. And that is a very big ass problem to me. Because I need crunchy shit in my fucking food. Or else it's not. Mm -mm. This shit just fucking said. What causes cancer more than second hand smoke? Third fucking hand smoke. N not the actual smoke but what the smoking leaves behind that's what the fuck i've been complaining about the residual particles from the tobacco smoke that sit on the surfaces in the fabric on the floors carpets furniture and clothing the same carcinogens found in first and second hand smoke are found in the samples of dust taken from homes of people who fucking smoke inhaling and swallowing that smoke is harmful that's why my face so eight hours of exposure to other people's smoke is as damaging to your cardiovascular system and lungs as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day exactly like i um communicate that shit is so fucking toxic i don't allow it on, on my flesh that shit is rape after just 30 minutes secondhand smoke makes platelets in the bloodstream stickier and more prone to clotting if you grow grew up in a household with smokers your own lung cancer risk is 3 to 11 times higher than normal it also raises your respiratory your risk for respiratory infection nasal and sinus cancer it can also elevate your odds for cancers of the breast cervix and bladder but it says know that you can undo the damage just as with smokers your body will begin purging the poisons and returning to a healthier state within hours after you stop breathing in smoke yeah you know that i worked my ass off every day of my life to get away from it and i still can't and yeah that's about as as good as good feelings as we're gonna get The skyline right now is crazy. Wow. I love her face. I know, me too. Wow, this is so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, wait, there's fruit in the middle. Y'all got the cake with the fruit in the middle. That's my the favorite type of cake. Thank you guys. I can bring you to the masses. What Kanye promised. And my teeth are gonna hurt. Shit, because I don't want it. This girl Rocky B said when somebody bothers you, put them in a box and call them a crackhead. She said put them in a box. Yeah, you can buy that's it. That's how you get it. Yeah, 
Cause you don't know who you're talking to. That's really everything. Yo, why I'm craving tofu so bad? Is you finna sit there and argue with Jeffrey Dahmer? Or is you gonna get the fuck off? That's so true. I'm not finna argue with Jeffrey Dahmer. Do you think I will be arguing with a man? Nah, they hit me for You can have this sandwich, you can have this house. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Period, please. Period, please. That's exactly how you gotta treat them on the internet, bitch. You eat people. Why would I be arguing with you to make you more mad so you can come find me? No, thank you. Period, please. Yes. And quick, it's cold. It's really cold. Why is somebody beefing with me on Rocky B shit? He said there's nothing wrong about being married. That was my mama. Happy. Hey, make you live to your partner. I said, what the fuck you talking about? To take me. Don't want to get on that show. That's the crazy part. You ever thought about saving money and improving your life habits? I said, you ever thought about your mama dying? It was one time where I did see myself like going on Bad Girls Club and shit, young as hell. She said, everybody gotta go someday. Why you ask? I just feel like where I'm that. Like bitches just to be hanging with bitches all fucking day. I, he said, everybody gotta go someday. Why you ask? I said, you're so sad looking by. He said, somebody loves it. And I'm like, I said, I hope they save me their money. <laughs> this girl said, that's why I got set up. Oh my God. I'm dead. Cool ass bitches on there. It's always a couple of real bitches on any fucking TV show. It's always a few that's just cool as hell. Once something like that happens to you, your guard be so high, so high, where it's like, nigga, that will never happen again. Hell no. Nah. Nope. And I feel like I got in that situation by putting myself in shit that I should have known I was better than. Like, I don't care what nobody say. You can sit there and be like, oh, well, you shouldn't feel like that about yourself. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Bitch, I know I'm telling to this fuck. I know what the fuck I got going on. I know where the fuck I see myself. Why am I sitting here wasting my time arguing with bitches that I know I could beat up? That was stupid of me. I was asking to get set up. Like, what the fuck is you entertaining that bullshit for? Duh. Fuck you better than that. You supposed to be over here. Your eyes and your attention supposed to be over here. So even down to some shit like that, like, why would I do that when... I'm gonna be in somebody else's fucking house on somebody else's fucking camera entertaining a whole bunch of other shit when it's like, bro, I could be over here getting these songs together for these singers. I could be over here fucking making up a plan to get my baby sister back. I can be over here making up a fucking plan, figuring out where the fuck I'm finna move me and my family to. You feel me? Like, it's just certain shit that I just feel like I can't act like I can't act like I didn't learn my lessons. Because some shit, it don't be having nothing to do with the other person. Like, even down to being set up. Like, sometimes that shit ain't got nothing to do with them. Like, the way I be thinking of it, like, sometimes that has nothing to do with them. Sometimes, nigga... I'm so fucking hard-headed, I don't know how to chill the fuck out until some fucked up shit happens to me. Like, anybody that knew me before my car accident, I was way more wilder than that. Ooh. Way. But after that car accident, I chilled the fuck out a whole lot. But then I start getting reckless again. And then I start going to jail like a motherfucker. I chilled out. And then, boom, that happened. You feel me? So, and of course, it was more shit here and there. But just to sum it up, like, I don't really be getting it until I feel like... God be having to sit me on my ass, and I ain't got no choice. And that's when I get scared to fuck up, because I be like, nah, <laughs> nah. I be having so many signs that be like, hey, look over here. Look at me. Stay focused. Stay focused. And I keep like, uh, uh, no, because no, dang. And fuck y'all and that. And then something happened. It's like, bitch, you wasn't paying attention, bitch. If you was looking right here, you would have seen this car was coming. You feel me? So, let's not forget Cuban and Stella was scared like, to come outside. Go through some shit in life. And that's why Cuban got dropped from her label. Bro, learn. Sit the fuck down. You get scared to do anything else. Mm -hmm. You get so scared because you be like, hell no, nah, bro. I Everything you can away. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck might happen this time. <laughs> Harry, they be having cans of worms <laughs> everywhere. It's Lucifer. Oh, fuck that nigga. You weren't focused on what the fuck you supposed to be focused on. And then, that's when we be like the best motherfucking motivational Cuban speakers. be paranoid everywhere she go. Bitch, I can't relate I to that shit. I the realest shit to motherfucking say because I... I cannot relate to that it. shit. I live through it. You feel me? It's like, bro, fuck that. Period. Nobody be taking no L's because I ain't paying attention and staying focused on what the fuck I should be focused on. Mm-hmm. That's all you got to do. Be worth the risk. You be focused on what you be focused on. Mm -mm. Today, got me pooped. <gasps> My little s 
so cute that I'm sad now. She forgot this. I'm gonna have to give that back to her. I'm gonna have to keep that very safe for her. It's probably her favorite toy. Just kidding. Guys, I barely gave my little sister her Christmas present. Like, I haven't seen my family in so long. I barely gave them their gifts. How rude. How rude of me. Nah, it's not my fault, though. Our schedules don't be linking up. Didn't want to miss a thing. Thanks for joining, y'all. Where should I sit? I want to smoke. It did. I'll it. Like, I want to uh, smoke, but I'm not going to smoke because I oh, just got yeah, scared about their hair. Smoke. I literally had to just understand. You just got to know yourself. You feel I know I'm hard-headed. Like, I'm so hard-headed. That's why as soon as I get an idea to do something, I don't care who say no. I don't care who the fuck say I can't do it. I don't care if I fail trying to do it. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> you feel me? And it's like... That's a good trait to have to a certain extent. Like, some shit, you gotta know when to back out. And it don't make you no hoe. It don't make you scary. It don't make you weak. It don't make you none of that. Some shit, you don't need to be touching. Some shit, you don't need to be a part of. Some shit, mm -hmm. you was not supposed to even be looking over there. Fuck is you doing? Yeah. Like, that ain't got nothing to do with you, you feel me? That shit adds to fire. I'm finna just block this person, because clearly they wasn't on my <laughs> Clearly, they just wasn't on my life. See, this is what I'm telling y'all. You just got to block the person. You just got to block them because, yeah. Said, so, do I think I learned that part yet? <laughs> I'm sad. They're low-key dying. Um, I was able to drive. But now I have my restricted license. So I went to Mercedes and I called in advance. I knew what servant, what kind of maintenance it needed. So I go in, I call in advance and I'm like, yo. I was like, yo. How much is it for this maintenance? And they told me no, one no, no, price. I wish okay. my bum was clean and right it was now. was a pretty pricey price already. I was like, darn it. It was like under $1,000. So I'm like, okay, I was thinking it was going to be around 1000 or more. So I low-key, I'm happy. Like, okay, it's not. It's still a lot. But oh, it's not as much as I thought. Tell me why when I pull up. Of course, I'm low-key scared that they scammed me, bro. I don't be trusting the car dealers or the mechanics. I don't be trusting them motherfuckers. Because I swear, as soon as I walked in and they saw it was a girl, they're like, actually, it's going to be times two what we told the quote we pre we quoted you sometimes we don't really learn the real lesson <laughs> 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 How many people can I bring? Like, what the fuck? How many people I need? Bro, I be having to ask everything. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. And some certain situations, bro, you don't need to know everything. Sometimes it's not meant for you to know every fucking thing. Sometimes you just got to enjoy the ride. Like, even with my life. Like, bro, I cannot tell y'all how much shit be going left. I, I for sure, like... I just told y'all this, like, probably been like a week now. I mean, not a week, but like two weeks now. I was so sad. Oh, my God. And I could not name Ooh. I just cried for an hour straight. Like, every time I just got my shit together and I'm thinking, like, the cry over with, I just bust out crying again. God damn. But I'm just like, what's wrong? But... I had to get that shit out. You feel me? Oh, I can't relate at all. It get frustrating. Part the reason of me saying that I was crying is because it gets frustrating. And sometimes you feel like, nigga, if this is the fucking end of the world. Get that shit out. But once you it's chill your ass out, you have to keep in mind, bro. Just enjoy the ride, bro. Just enjoy this shit. Because I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I seen some old videos and pictures and shit of myself because I was looking for some shit, right? You know what I'm saying? So... That shit really, it hurt, it hurt, it hurt. Man, that shit hurt for sure, but it was needed, it was needed. So that's why I just been like moving differently because certain shit, once you really like go through that, you start realizing how much shit your lower self is entertaining. And you need to be it, be try to be your higher self at all times. A lot of times we be involved in shit because of our lower self. Okay, and I'm gonna be working all day tomorrow. It's gonna be a long, long day. Okay, well, I'm trying to juice feast, so that should be fine.
here is like 746. I was about to edit, but my bitch ass mama just proved that the nigga that I just I was finally able to have like a crush. And I'm not gonna have no gay ass crush. I finally just thought I was gonna get to have a husband. But her and her faggot ass friend just proved the nigga is disloyal for about the fifth time. And now I can't be blind to it. So yeah, I'm sleeping. I'm done vlogging period. Life with Australia is over. I'm not fucking with any of this shit. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about a nigga. But I don't want no disloyal. I will never accept a disloyal ass fag. And I will never accept a cigarette smoker, tobacco smoker. And I'll never accept anyone that could harm my head. That could bust my head open and birth. And I'm not gonna have different baby daddies. I'ma kill a nigga if he try to rape me. The nigga gonna die a bloody ass scene if a nigga try to rape me or a bitch try to rape me and I'll abort the kid. So that's the day on that. I hope y'all liked Life with Australia. Series over. Oh, um, so I'm gonna just go to sleep now, even though I'm not sleepy. I'm gonna resume water fasting. And, but I can't go to sleep because I'm way beyond, way too bothered. I had to kick this bitch out my room because I can't, I'm not gonna have my heart hurt more. Because it's like, I'll be breathing, right? I can't breathe. And then I breathe a little bit. And then this bitch throw, like, starts shaking the bed like I just breathe sexually. Bro, I can't fucking breathe. I can't feel my fucking body right and you gonna sexualize me and you already did all this disrespectful ass shit now you could breathe cigarettes and i'm not okay with that being on me so i don't really know what to do because i don't i can't i'm gonna just let her be back in my room and i'm just gonna let it hurt my heart honestly because i'm gonna just be water fasting anyway so it's fine you know, I got mad and started water fasting. Fasting, no, I'm dizzy. Fuck niggas. It's bitches alike.